Hello everybody, hope you're fine. Today we are looking at the MWM phase. So it's the brand new unit from MWM. Uh, they sold a lot of crossfader, Bluetooth crossfader for their um, e-DJing app. So today is the phase. It's a new, um, a new kind, a new uh, way to play DVS with your favorite software. So you will see in the video, you can play this DVS with a record box, with Tractor, with Virtual DJ, with Serato, with a lot of platforms. And um, to uh, people who are misunderstanding the, this solution, it's not a DVS sound card or DVS Uh, mixer is just a signal, a DVS signal. So it will replace your um, record, your DVS record, time code record, and your cartridge. So we, you will have no manipulation on it, no uh, rumble, all those bad things you will have, uh, you had on a turntable, you will not have with the face. It's really cool unit. So I wait to uh, do this. Uh, I waited to do this video to show you a new function directly on the configuration of the phase that um, allow you to save battery life of your phase. So it's very important because um, they say in the um, in the box in the in the in the internet that you can. It's up to 10 hours. Uh, for manipulation, but it's not really really true. It's first the 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 little bad thing, but with the new configuration, the new um, battery saving uh, mode mode, you will uh, you can I test it more or less seven hours. I had five five and a half before this update, and with this update now, the last update nowadays. You will have um, more or less seven, seven and a half hours of playing. So the phase is shipping uh, in with two kind. You can have one controller, is the big one here, and two remotes. And the other offer is the one controller and four remotes. So you can switch between remotes when you have a remote without um, without any power. So first we are going to see the configuration and after we will uh, see the manipulation with the software. So first in the configuration you will have the setup. Allow you to check what uh, software you want to uh, to use. For example, Recordbox, but you see you can do Serato, Tractor, VirtualDJ, etc. After you choose the um, round per minute for your um, uh, configuration, so uh, 33, and you can calibrate your two remotes with two turntables. You have just to put a remote on it, put your turntable at 0% and click so on uh, calibration. After you can control the color of your controller and remote, you see I can For the remote A, I can put green if I want, and I will have green control, a green green remote. After the power setting, so this um, part, you can uh, with this part you can allow your your remote unit to uh, save battery uh, with a um, power a low power mode and a shutdown. So you can put maybe one minute for a power, uh, low power and maybe five minutes for a showdown when you're not using this. And after the, um, the part I wanted to see with you, it's the battery saving. So the battery saving is a little cursor like that and you can put minimum and maximum. Minimum is your remote is Um, very very uh, near to you and you can save a lot of power on, on it and if you put uh, near maximum you will have less power on your, your unit 
but um, the unit can be uh, further. I, I think I test it like that minimum. Um, I told you seven or seven and a half for the power and for the battery life. And you can analyze this uh, configuration. You see, I will put my unit here. To put your unit on your turntable, you have to wait a little time to have a bar here. Yeah, the bar is here. So you see the DVS is coming. You put it like that and you go to analyze and you can see directly here that you will have a note and the configuration say to you that you have, for example, me, I have nine on 10. So it's a good configuration for me. And I have seven and a half battery life. And after the last one, the system, so you can with the system reset or unlink your remote if you want to, uh, if you have any problem or if you want to sell it, you can uh, unlink them. And after you can uh, check for updates. The update is very cool, very easy to, to, to use. First, you have to update the controller. So you have to unplug the remote. And after, you have just to put the two remotes on it and update the remote A and remote B. So it's very easy. And it's done for the configuration, let's see, in a software. And when I put my track, I have just to, you see, I have my DVS here. I have just to push here the switch and it's okay. The signal is very, very strong. You see, if I go in the configuration of the DVS, very strong, a uh, good round. It's very, very, very cool. You have nothing to do. So like I said, it's a, a DVS signal. Um, it will go through the sound card of your mixer or through your sound card. It's not a DVS unit. It's just a DVS signal. And of course, if you need to listen to a record, no problem. You switch to phono here and go to your track. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. So it's really cool. Very easy to switch between those, uh, the DVS signal and um, no more record. This unit is shipped with a USB cable, so you can charge your remote with your computer or switch, USB switch if you want. To make the upgrade, the update of the remote and the controller, you should take, it's a little advice, you should take your cable and put it directly on the computer and not on the switch just for the update. After you can have a little um, iPhone connector or something like that, and you can put it directly on the power, uh, power line, not on a computer. You do like you want. Two pair of RCA for the um, DVS signal and little sticker like that allow you to put directly on your record here with, with a little scotch, 3M scotch here to make your um, to make your remote very stable directly on the record and um, it's done for the phase for today so if you have any questions about this product feel free to ask under the video um, see you next content and take care everybody ciao bye bye